Well, schools across the country are getting creative to catch students vaping in the bathroom. That's right. It's not video or audio surveillance. Actually, it's air quality surveillance. Fox 5's Jody Goldberg gives us a closer look at how this new tech works. This little device dubbed FlySense is making a big impact on stopping students from vaping in schools. Looking at air quality, we're looking for what we define as a vaping signature. The vape detection system is being used in at least 75 districts throughout New York State. You can find it mounted on ceilings of bathrooms where cameras and microphones aren't allowed. When vape is exhaled, it picks up on a chemical change in the air, and the device automatically alerts administrators. We understand when this, the boys are spraying, their Axe body spray and the girls may be spraying Taylor Swift or Beyonce body sprays and the cleaning crew comes in spraying the Lysol so we understand all that but we're looking hey that is vape we see in the air. Derek Peterson developed the technology here on Long Island back in 2017 to help students stay safe in school. Now he says FlySense is in every state 35 countries and every day over 100,000 notifications are sent out to administrators around the world. Because of the sort of technology it's uh, becoming a vape-free uh, campus. Billport Middle School principal Dr. Jamal Colson went from getting 10 to 15 alerts a day to just a few each week since installing FlySense. He says parents are supportive of the technology. Many of them were not aware. It's something that is a proactive approach. At first, students caught vaping in Bellport were suspended for a day, but administrators say it wasn't as effective. Now, as a consequence, students take part in a counseling awareness program to influence positive decision making and find other ways to cope. It's really about education, right? It's not so much about punishment, but letting kids know that these things are, you know, dangerous to your health. Dr. Robin Kreiner, a pediatric allergy and asthma specialist, believes there's a direct link between social media influence and kids vaping behaviors. She says it's detrimental to a child's brain development. The brain develops up until the age of 25 and they lose the ability to form new skills. It affects learning and it's even been shown to affect their mood, their impulse control. The technology also detects bullying by picking up on aggressive sound behaviors. In Bellport, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.